Hello there! Today I'm going to show you what's similar between cooking and making videos. Let's start with a quick recipe. So when you make lentil soup, you need an onion, carrots, lentils and spices. And then you need a cooker. That's something obvious to most of you, how to make a soup. And if you're watching this, you probably know that to make a video digitally, you need video files, sound files, memory card, and a bunch of cables. And then you will need a software. So what is the relationship between my onion, my carrots, my garlic, and my lentils, and making a video? Well, the relationship is that the process of making the soup is exactly like the process of making a video. You need a device that puts it all together. So the software is the cooker. Now, what you do in the software is that you put your images inside together with your sound files, you unlink them or relink them, you cut them, you drag and drop, you rearrange until you're satisfied with the result. For the actual job of editing, you need to see some other tutorials which explain how to do that. Our lentil soup is still cooking. So let's have a look. Mm. It's always a good idea to taste the soup as you're making it. Here, have a bite. Okay, so time to present our soup before we move on to presenting our video. So let me make some space here. A bit of vinegar. Mmm, delicious. Now, what about the video? Well, it's time to get into that software and see how do we present videos once they're done and are ready for serving. So you finished editing your project. What you have to do is select the exact area you want to present. You want to get out of the software. So there's this thing called work area bar, which I'm now setting to cover these clips. So once you've selected the part of your video that you want to present, you go to the publish and share pop out menu in the top right hand corner, which is a pop out menu. And inside that one, we click on computer. This gives us a rather scary dialogue window, but have no fear. You should choose QuickTime. QuickTime is a format for videos, which usually works very well on Mac, but on Macintosh computers, but at this point it also works fine with Windows. So choose QuickTime. Then under this uh, little section of the window, you will find a drop down menu. In this drop down menu, I want you to choose the mysterious sounding H264. You can choose either of those two. You have to give a name to your file. Please give it a name that makes sense to someone who doesn't know what exactly you're doing. And then you're going to browse and put it in the place where you will then find your file. Remember to tick the share work area bar box. So then you hit save and that's the time when your video is rendering. That means it's being made by the software. So a few minutes later, you go back, your rendering is finished, you've just had a Coke, you feel fantastic. All right, save complete, done. So now where's my video, you might ask. So if you're not sure where you put your file, then you better check out the tutorial on organizing your video materials. But normally you have the choice to put it into a folder of your choice. And I have chosen this place. So let's try to open it. So when I click on my file and I open it in VLC player, it plays back. So that means this is really a video file. This is exactly what we wanted. Another way to check whether your presentation is ready to be shown is if you click on your file and then you change the view mode in Windows to details. 
you're going to see that it says it's a vlc.mov type of file. That means it's a QuickTime file, which is exactly what we need. All right, so that's the end of our tutorial for today. Enjoy publishing and sharing your food and your videos.